Hello, everyone. Welcome back to season nine of the Micro Vlogcast. I'm here with Mike and Matt. We're talking about our approach to sustainability through our five principles. And today we're going to be talking about a case study customer success story related to our transparent principle. So the idea behind the transparent principle is we think these topics are complicated, they're confusing, and in order for good work to happen, we need to do a really intentional job of making things approachable, uh, digestible. Education is all about like, where is the audience at and making sure we're using language that makes sense to them so that we can all move forward together. And so um, Matt today is gonna talk a little bit about our uh, transparent uh, principle and how that showed up in a really positive way for a customer. So Matt? Yeah, so it's, I love it this story and how it's related to this transparent principle. Oftentimes I see postures in, in people that care a lot, um, not have a greatest sense of empathy for people that are making decisions in spaces because they, they, they don't understand there's a bias, um, in this space, like why certain folks are making certain decisions. And I think our posture here at Foresight is like, we believe our clients are, are trying to make the best decisions that they possibly can with the data they have available. Mm -hmm. And our job as consultants is through the lens of transparency to elevate data sets that they may not be aware of or yeah. elevate interpretations or insights from data sets that they might not have because it's really detailed or complex or technical, right? And so in this case, we had a small nonprofit that was having some complaints of, of staff in a newly renovated facility here in town, um, just like itchy noses or like headaches. And in my like triggers when like, oh, I think you have a ventilation issue because those were all air quality, like mm -hmm. typical air quality uh, symptoms. Right. And it was a hypothesis. And I just I was very transparent with them. Like this is this is what I would do is just like we could just jump to the conclusion, the solution, which is to look at your ventilation because what we're assuming in this case that these symptoms are a cause of poor or inadequate ventilation. And it made sense with the with the age of the building, the yeah. typology, um, and uh, there, there's just lots of alignment. And it we could have just jumped to that conclusion and like, here, you need to, you need to develop a whole strategy around fixing the ventilation system. Instead, we're like, well, let's get you some data. And we have these neat little devices that can measure um, a lots of different components of indoor environmental quality. And one of them is like CO2 and TVOC, total volatile organic compounds, which are chemicals in the air um, that can produce headaches and itchy throats and things like that. We installed them and we let them run for a few weeks. And we looked at the data and we're like, actually, you guys do not have any issues with air quality. Your ventilation system is working as it should. We wouldn't recommend you modify your ventilation system. In in with that data in mind, like the next question is like, well, what if not then? What is the the right? What is the issue? And that led to a different level of curiosities, and that's still unfolding. But the the kind of story, the arc of the story here is like we through the transparency lens is in trying to get at like what is the appropriate solution in the curiosity and using data to inform our strategy. And then being very transparent with our client about that, we 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 circumvented a, a waste of time and energy to solve a problem that wasn't there to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a problem, and we're still working on what that is, right? But like that, the it's going to be data driven, yeah, on the solution, it not just be, we know best, do yeah. this thing, and it'll fix it. Instead of saying no, let's collect the data and make yeah. a decision up. Yeah. yeah, and I like the element of like showing our work along the way and why. I think there's a lot of opaqueness in our industry for a variety of good or bad reasons. Uh, usually not good reasons actually. And and so, and I think that's another thing that we just try and show up with is like, hey, here's our thought process and we're gonna show you our work along the way um, so that we feel like you have a real trusted advisor and partner in this and not like, oh, we're smart and no, and therefore yeah. just trust us. That's really not at all how we show up. And, and this is a good example of that. So thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, appreciate it, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Microvlogcast.